Hey, on Dockside Live, we're out here in Lake Bourne trying to chase a different species of fish. We got, we got away from the norm, speckled trout and redfish. We're out here throwing pink champagne and the shrimp creole. So we jumped aboard with Sam on the 22-foot Skeeter, headed out to Lake Bourne, going to chase some triple tail today. Let's see what we can do on them today. Leave your worries at the dark and come enjoy the water. It's sea total peace of mind. Cause you know, you see total peace of mind to the rescue. See total to the rescue. See what we did was we come out of the East Pearl, we went into Lake Bourne, and basically what we're doing is just running around chasing traps. You know, um, we probably covered 30 or 40 traps. And we just found a little school seems like a big triple tail. So we got one coming up. So stay tuned. Let's we'll see if we can put a big one in the boat. I think it might be on that one. There was two? There was two. Looked like it. I only saw one right there. Pretty awesome. I love to see them big ones like. See these fish bite like like redfish and drum and they're mm -hmm. for a second. Real pretty fish too. They're like chameleons, man. They change colors and stuff. Like born triple tail. All right, whenever you're using plastics to chase these triple tail, as soon as you see the bait disappear and the triple tail's got it, you want to hurry up and set the hook because they'll spit it out real fast. You want to get about a 10 feet, 15 feet away when you see that triple tail and you want to cast it right next to the, go right past the trap. You're going to bring it right by the rope, try not to snag it, and you just drop it down. Switch it a little bit, and you'll see him follow. You'll see a big flash blob come by, and then you just got to Watch when your bait disappears, and that's when the fish eats it. They just set the hook, and it's a heck of a fight. Just cast it right by that rope. Get it right by it, and then drop it. And let the tide just take it. In the... And you twitch it. When you can't see it no more, twitch it. And you got. It. You want to be able to see your lure. That's what's going to tell you when your bite happens, when you see it just disappear. This is strong, boy, I tell you. We're having some problems right now. The water's a little stained, and they keep staying down in the water columns that are hard to see. So what I did right there, I didn't see that one. We saw it when we passed in the boat, but then when we came back on the motor, trolling motor, we didn't see it. Got up close to it. And I just dropped, I pit, pitched that matrix shed right by the crab trap rope and just let it sink about three or four feet and just got lucky. I saw him flash up at it. There he goes. Awesome. Like he's got a tag in him. That's awesome. He does have a tag in him. It's probably got a number on it or something. All right, we just popped a beautiful triple tail. Um, this fish is healthy. Uh, normally what happens in the summer is that the triple tail move closer to land. They tend to, they tend to spawn, so they come into shallower water, and we'll run out in Lake Bourne, run these crab lines right now. Um, we just pulled a tag out of this fish right now, um, and we're going to call the number later uh, and just give them the information, the tracking on this fish, because we actually need more um, information on this fish because it's not enough. You know, Maybe there needs to be a limit on them. 
people we don't know enough about them so anything you can do to help wildlife and fisheries you know start monitoring these fish by all means you know uh pitch in and give a hand with that but that is a beautiful lake born triple tail that fish is beautiful hope y'all enjoyed this episode of dockside live um come check us out down at docksidela.com for more information on catching these triple tail and come visit us out at dockside and you can catch you some triple tail like this to the rescue Cito Look at it.